And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. It works! One and how's it going for everyone? And it's funny. So, uh, my name is Jared, and I'm the Radical Game Play. And how's it going for everyone? And it's funny. So, all right. So today's video is going to be different from uh, from what I showed you the the past few days. So, all right. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how to load uh, the Sega Saturn emulator for Windows 10, and not only that, to run Sega Saturn uh, ROMs on it. And, alright, so, before we start the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, I'm the Red Local Gameplay, and leave a comment to this video, so, alright, let's get started, and here we go! Alright everyone, so what's going on? So, we are back on my desktop on my gaming PC, and not only that, we are just about to getting started right now. So, alright, let us go into Microsoft Edge to get the project started, so, alright, here we go! So what we need to do in order to go into in order to get the Sega Saturn emulator, we need to type it. We need to type it in Sega Saturn emulator and and search it. All right. So so there is a specific emulator you want to have for the Sega Saturn to work on your PC. So so what we need to do in order to go there, we need to go to this website right here. Well, it's not. Well, actually, all right. There's there's a specific emulator you want to have, which is I recommend you going to this uh, to this link right here. I'll give it to the link in. The, I'll give it to you people in the link in the description. So let's go to this link right here. So all right. All right. So there's a specific emulator when you want to have, which I recommend you want to have this SSF. So this is this is the emulator I've been using for for it to run perfectly and well. So all right. So we're gonna download that, and we're gonna download it, which is SSF Preview Version R15. All right, this is it. All right, this is what you wanna have, and we're gonna download it right now. Okay. All right, so as you can see, it'll take a little bit to download, uh, but well, for my, because of my ne Wi-Fi network, but until then, I'll be right back. All right, so everyone, so as you can see, we uh, we just got this downloaded, and now next up on our channel, we need to download our BIOS for the second Saturn. So please follow me into this tutorial. So so I'll be sure to give you uh, give everyone the links in the description for what they need to do in order to get this thing running perfectly. So all right. All right, so next up on the agenda, we are going to go to this link right here to get our BIOS for the second Saturn. So let us go into this link and go in there. All right, so the agenda is we are going to download the zip file and we are going to download it. All right. And this will not take too long. It'll take a few seconds or more. So hopefully you'll hurry up. All right. <coughs> Five. Or what's going on? Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. There we go. All downloaded. Okay, and perfected. So we're gonna close this out. And all right. So all right. So next up, uh, oh, excuse me. Never mind that. Okay, never mind. Okay. So all right. So now, now we need to do. Now what we need to do is go into downloads and uh, extract them. Um, extract the files. And then move it to our desktop. All right. And now we need to extract our second Saturn BIOS and all right. extract it to our desktop. So now, so now it is time to configure them. Okay. So now, all right. We open this. So this is what well, this is. Our literally our. All right. So this is basically. So this is all the files right here. So what we need to do in order. So this is the file you need to open for the second Saturn to open. All right, uh, this is the actual app itself. So if you can pay attention right here. So what I'm gonna do is pin it to my test to my test bar. See, it's right here already. So now, all right. So now on the agenda, I'm gonna open it, and not only that, I'm going to. 
All right, so now... All right, so now this is where... The, so this is the actual emulator itself. So now we are gonna minimize that. Minimize that, anyway. So now we need to set up. So go, we're gonna go into options and... Uh, all right. So, to, so this is where you need to set up everything in the options, such as like uh, there's the sound and controller and and other some other stuff here. All right. So now we are gonna put in our bio. So it depends. So literally. So literally, um, we are gonna go to our bios right now. Second Saturn bios, second and, and open this up. All right. So for so there are there are a bunch of the versions, such as like a Japanese version, bios version, and such as European version. So, but we are gonna go. We are gonna go to Second Saturn bios, October twelfth, nineteen ninety four version. All right. So we are gonna we are gonna use those. That is our bios file. So now, all right. All right, and now, and now for our screen, and now for our sound. Well, all right, well, well. Okay, so we are gonna we are gonna configure our controller as of right now. So we are gonna, so we're gonna use our Logitech controller pad and, and all right. So, all right. So input for up. So this is our our yeah. So this is uh, the the control stick for the the controller main character, right? Hmm. All right. A B C X Y Z L R start. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, okay. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna skip that. And all right. All right. So and now we are gonna. All right, so and now we are gonna make sure um, all right, so that's pretty much it So that's all we're gonna configure and now <coughs> And now we are gonna completely uh, configure our uh, our ROM so All right, so our ROMs So the ROMs that I have is what I have is Sonic 3D Blast for the second Saturn and now we are gonna run it and Make sure if it works perfectly. So, so, so just to be clear, the the Q file is is the ROM itself. So you have to have that. So to make sure if it runs perfectly. All right. So now we are gonna run it. We are gonna we are gonna close. We are gonna select that and see. Look at that. Look at that. It's already in there. So now, so now what we need to do is so in order to load it like, once again in. You have to restart. You have to restart the thing itself. All right. All right. So actually, all right. So we're gonna quit the application and once, and now we're gonna officially restart it. Okay. One. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the moment of truth, to get this working. Ooh, there we go. There we go. It's working. Good. Okay. So. So it depends on you whether you want to set it up like uh, this will automatically show up when like so like this is so this will like uh, automatically show up like 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 it doesn't matter uh, if you want to set it up like this but it depends on you literally. Alright, so we're gonna go with that. Exit. And we're gonna set it to English. It depends on you whether you, on how you wanna set it up, okay? I would want just to make sure if it's working, let's run it once more to make sure if it's completely officially set up. So I decided to change the BIOS because for some reason it wasn't working. I was dealing with an error, so let's make sure if it's working. And now for the moment of truth. <gasps> Yay, it worked! Why well, did it? I did, I did it! Yes! Okay, look at that. This is what you want in order for it to get to working. All right. This is what you want. So I've been literally uh, going through an error. I mean, 
So I had to change files, uh, but to make sure I literally, but to make sure it's working, we're playing Sonic 3D Blast, and now, okay, and now I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit, um, sorry about that. This is what, this is what you want, literally, in order to get it working. And look at this, it's amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? This is amazing. This is what you want. Okay. But just to make sure, everyone, we are going to be doing a little bit of gameplay to make sure if it's stable enough for it to play. All right. So, just to be clear, this is Sonic 3D Blast. And, all right, we're going to do a little bit of gameplay with it. And, all right. All right. Okay. So, we're going to start in... And I know that is the worst game ever. Uh, I know this. Uh, so I know that Sonic 3D Blast is literally like one of the worst games ever. But I like Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, I, I prefer the Sega Saturn version over the Sega Genesis version because of the because of its better music, literally. So yeah. Alright. But we're gonna be doing a little bit of gameplay to make sure if it's stable enough. So look at that. Look at that, it's literally working. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at that, look at that. There we go. We're just gonna complete the game. We're just comp Okay, tell you what guys, I'm gonna uh, be completing the, this stage in order to make sure, in order just for fun. All right, so let us go, here we go, okay. All right, all right, there we go. Whoa, hold on. All right. And just to be clear, everyone, this has special stages in it, but we're not going to do the special stages. And, well, because I don't want to waste anyone's time with that, well, this was meant to be uh, a, a little bit of gameplay for this. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. And believe it or not, I like this. I like this theme song, but yeah. All right, so now it's time to get. You know what? All right, so all right, so all right. We're gonna get this, and all right. Okay, I cannot see where the. There we go. Um, what's hmm. There we go. We got him. We got all the flickies. So, in order to complete the game, we need to collect all the flickies in each stage. That's pretty much how the game works. If anyone has ever played the second Siren version for Sonic, for Sonic 3D Blast, then yeah, then you'll be able to understand. All right. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. Out. All right. All right. We got invincibility now. All right, so now we are gonna, um, let me see, hold on. All right, um, uh, okay. Okay, I'm doing terrible at this, really. I'm losing all my rings, and yeah. There we go. Okay. And now we can exit the game, exit the stage, and quit. There we go. So the see the X marks the spot. That means you ended the game. I mean, you ended the stage. All right. All right, so Sonic got through Act One. 
all right now we're gonna close this out and all right quit application and all right that is it everyone that is my full tutorial on how to load second saturn load the second saturn emulator properly and not only that run second saturn roms all right so all right Alright everyone, that is it for this video, so if y'all liked this video, please don't forget to like, like and subscribe and comment in, in the video, and I hope y'all like this video, so my, I'm the Radical Gameplay, and don't forget my name is Jared, and I'll see you all in the next video, so peace out, goodbye, peace out.